Okay, my name is Massimiliano Izzo. I'm from the University of Oxford, and I'm going to present fair sharing, mapping the landscape of databases, standards, and data policies. So what is fair sharing? Fair sharing is basically a web portal where we track uh, the development and evolution of standards together with related databases and data policies. We have basically four main types of standards, which are formats, mostly file formats, terminologies that are uh, control vocabularies or ontologies. We have guidelines, which are usually minimum requirement checklists or checklists of any sort. And nowadays we have also added identifiers, which uh, can be like the digital object identifier. And we are not only interested in uh, the resources themselves, but also on how these are connected and we keep track of these connections. For instance, some guidelines might recommend specific formats or terminologies or conversely, certain databases might uh, suggest to use specific formats to deposit the data and following certain guidelines. And the third type of records are uh, the data policies, which are usually released by funders or journals, which recommend to publish like the data on specific databases and using certain formats. We also have two types of um, uh, aggregated records, which are collections, usually user-defined, and recommendations, which are usually related with uh, uh, one or more associated data policies. And so whom is fair sharing for? It's mostly for researchers and bio-curators who want to find, want find um, basically resources such as databases or standards that are relevant for their research but it can also be useful for like policy makers or uh, standards developers who want to publish a record associated to their research, uh, to their resource and uh, increase its visibility. And the third type of uh, use case is for like people who advise other people about their data and they want maybe to explore some parts of the, um, like of the data domain that they are not familiar with. So but what type of data you can find on fair sharing? This is basically uh, the home one, uh, the example of one record. In this case, it's a database. We don't have the source code, uh, the resource code. Uh, there is a link to the original resource code, and we keep track uh, of a set of metadata, basically, about the, the resource. We have general information. We uh, have tags manually curated, which describe the taxonomic rank for biological resources uh, and uh, knowledge domains. And then we have a list of recommendations, which are basically organizations or journals, uh, which recommend a specific resource. And we generally, as you can see here, probably it's not that clear, but this record is maintained by the organization who actually maintains the resource itself, which is something that we tend to encourage. And moreover, there is a list basically of uh, related resources, but this can be seen also uh, later on. One part that uh, yeah, I wanted to discuss is that we have developed a widget, which is uh, accessible on GitHub at that page, and which um, basically can be embedded on third party websites, like on journals or organization, and they can show their own collection, uh, their own collection or recommendation with the list of records. Uh, which belongs to it. And this is uh, a library designed with um, React. It can be used as a standalone library or accessed as a service. And it, it interacts with a res, a fi, um, the fair sharing API. And it provides a tabular view or a graph connectivity map. Both can be filtered according to the record type, to the tagging system, and also to the depth of a, to the distance in the graph from the central node, which in this case is uh, the po a policy. And uh, yeah, there are various layouts, but anyway, there are many other aspects. So I am actually just one of the developers, and then there are various curators uh, working uh, at the University of Oxford on this project. We are financed by a various group of bodies in Europe, UK, and the US as well. And we also collaborate with the community, specifically also with the uh, journals. We have the widget now published on uh, Giga Science, for instance. And we are also involved in a variety of uh, projects related with uh, fair metrics or uh, data sharing. Thank you.